I guess I've always just taken it for granted that my family appreciates me. But this morning, when I heard that psychologist talking about what a big problem this is to American housewives, I realized it was true. They don't appreciate me. Welcome to the club, honey. I clean for them, cook for them, sew on buttons, nurse their colds, and I love doing it. Don't misunderstand me. Oh, I read you loud and clear. You just want a little appreciation. Exactly. You know, all they have to do is just say thank you once in a while. A little pat on the head to old dog Trey. Joan. Mm. Do you know how many breakfasts I've cooked for them? 6,559. How do you happen to know that? I figured it out. And do you know how many dishes I've washed? I'd rather not hear. Do you think I'm making a mountain out of a molehill? No. I think you're making a molehill out of a mountain. I think it's time for the mothers of the world to unite. I hate to say it about my own family, but I have to face facts. They're selfish. They don't care what happens to me. You know, what we really need is a union. <laughs> How do I go about joining? First, we have to plan our attack. You make it sound like some kind of battle. That's exactly what it is. All out war. Joan, this is my family. I love them. They love me. Of course, but every once in a while, you have to give them a little nudge to remind them that you're around, that's all. What am I supposed to do? Go around saying, appreciate me, everybody? There are techniques. I'm afraid I don't know them. Mother will teach you. Step one. Tomorrow morning, you are going to be so sick. What? Tomorrow morning, you are going to stay in bed. We'll start them off with a little sympathy. It never fails. <laughs> Honey, is there anything I can bring you before I go to work? No, thank you. How are you feeling? Oh, fine, thank you. Just. A little weak. You're probably coming down with a cold. <coughs> or pneumonia. I doubt it. You'll be on your feet before you know it. You're too restless to spend more than a few hours in bed. Uh, by the way, while you're resting, I wish you'd look over this speech I'm going to make at the overseas club tonight. See if you think there's anything I, I should add to it. Uh, and I'd appreciate it if you would see that my dinner jacket is pressed. And by the way, please call Gilroy's and tell him to make sure my shirt is here by 5 o'clock. Okay? Hi, Mom. How are you feeling? Oh, Mom, I'm supposed to meet Richard back here after school, but I'll be tied up with a dance committee meeting. When he comes, will you tell him to go over to Alice's and I'll meet him over there? Oh, and you might call Alice and tell her that Richard is bringing the records. I'd call him myself, but I won't have time. How are you feeling, Aunt Natalie? Terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. You're probably coming down with a cold. I'm expecting a COD package. Could you please pay the delivery man when he comes? There's a dress in it. If you're feeling well enough, I would appreciate it if you'd hang it up for me. I'd like to wear it tonight. How are you feeling, Mom? Marvelous. That's great. Mom, one of the wings of my model jet got broken. I told Mr. Francioso you'd bring it in. If he can't fix it, buy a model kit 7A. Don't get 7B, 7A. And he'll give you a trade-in on the model kit on my dresser. If it's not on my dresser, it's in one of my drawers. Can't you do it yourself after school? I'm not coming home after school. We're going out to play ball, and I need the plane to enter in a contest Saturday. Perhaps your mother doesn't feel up to it, Ross. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll do it while I'm resting. Look over your speech, have dinner jacket press, tell Gilroy's to have your shirt here by five. <laughs> tell Richard to meet you at Alice's. Tell Alice Richard will be there with the records. Pay postman for your address, hang it up. Uh, take your model jet to Mr. Francie Osa. If he can't fix it, buy model 7A, not 7B. He will give trade in for a model set on your dresser. And if I have any time left over while I'm convalescing, why don't I just build uh, another wing under the house? <laughs> Thank you. 